Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks and today I'm trying to get some work done out in the pole barn here uh, just real quickly I do have all my rough in uh, electrical done and then I even hooked up a few outlets over there so I have light and uh, <laughs> well power for my saw and things like that uh, I still got a rough in that door <clears throat> not really worried about it at the moment what it is is I was kind of trying to get some heat in here so I can start getting some of this insulation installed in the walls. But my electric heater is not, or shouldn't say electric, it's my gas heater, it's a little torpedo heater, uh, isn't wanting to cooperate. So I am currently trying to figure out why that will not fire up. So anyway, uh, like I said again, just wanted to make a quick video. I am still making progress. The electrical is all roughed in now. Uh, the only thing I didn't rough in was the ceiling lights yet. And what it is, I'll be doing a home run from this switch box here for each bank of lights, because I'm going to have four banks or three banks of lights with four lights in each row. But you can see there, I got them spaced out. My rows are going to run east and west this way. And each row will have its own switch so I can adjust the intensity of the brightness out here. Uh, but again, anyway, just wanted to make a quick video. I am still doing some work out here. I know it looks like a pig pen, but that's what a workshop generally happens and does. <laughs> so anyway, as always, thanks for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Uh, if you like trying to follow along and get more information as far as some of the how-to projects and things I'm doing in the Lego barn, uh, don't forget to check out my other channel, which is Bevan's Builds. And uh, I might even have a video on how I troubleshot my heater here coming next. So as always, thanks for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below, and we'll see you next time time on Bevan's Bricks.